right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for a video on crypto every day. My name's Austin, and you're gonna like today's video because today I wanna offer you a 2018 year in review. If you've been involved in crypto over this last year, then you already know that 2018 was a hell of a time to be involved in the space and a lot of major events happened. Well, today, I've compiled a list of the top 10 biggest events that we saw happen this last year in cryptocurrency. A chance to learn and grow, all compiled in a top 10 list. What do you think the top one spot is? We'll get there, we'll get there, but let's start with number 10. The first thing I wanna mention that takes the number 10 spot in our list, and this might be a little obvious, but it is a year of correction. And guys, if you hear some rustling, I took some notes, I just wanna make this video as concise as possible. Do not be alarmed. But number 10 is a year of correction. In 2018, we saw hundreds of billions leave the cryptocurrency market cap. And it really defined the year, this bearish market, which, which, which is why it's number 10. And at this point, I think it's very safe to say that 2018 was extremely different than 2017 in terms of market movement. And if we actually zoom back in to 2017, late December of 2017, we can see it right here. The prices of the top 10 coins outrageously different than where we are today. But why does this get our number 10 spot? Well, on December 17th was actually a very significant day. Little did we know at the time, but this was actually the very first day of the Bitcoin correction, a correction that would send Bitcoin correcting for the next 12 months. Because it was the day before, on December 16th, that Bitcoin reached all-time highs of 19,600, and from this day on, it would continue to correct all year. Of course, back at the time, we had no clue. It was a sense of euphoria. I mean, a lot of you remember and just to illustrate that point, these altcoins continued to rally for weeks after Bitcoin started correcting. For example, it wasn't until January 7th that XRP reached its all-time highs of around $3.40. It wasn't a week later from that until January 13th that Ethereum reached its all-time highs of $1,400. The point is, after these few weeks, the market continued to correct which left us with this 12 month long bear market, which takes our number 10 spot. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's keep rolling. The number nine spot that happened this last year in 2018 was Venezuela's Petro. Do you remember this? In 2018, Venezuela adopted cryptocurrency and they did it with the Petro. What is the Petro? The Petro is a pre-mined, basically government-controlled cryptocurrency that was meant to solve Venezuela's deepening economic and political problems. And while nobody is really sure if the Petro is gonna work in the long run, for the first time in history, in 2018, we saw a government get behind cryptocurrency. Never before has this happened. Yet we witnessed this in 2018, and time will tell if the Petro will work in the long run. But over the next few, year, few years, I expect to see a lot more of this, what we saw in 2018, where more governments uh, try and take control of cryptocurrency as it becomes an emerging asset and currency. That's our number nine spot. Let's keep going. And again, guys, get excited for the top three. Bitcoin Cash Hash Wars is the number eight thing that happened in the crypto space this year. I know you remember this. And usually the Bitcoin Cash hard fork, it, it, it happens every six months. It's usually just a quiet event that optimizes the, the cryptocurrency for scalability. However, something was different on November 15th, a few short months ago, because on that planned hard fork, one of the most contentious events happened, which was a hard fork that resulted in two blockchains. And I'm not going to bore you with the details, but essentially we got Bitcoin ABC and Bitcoin SV. And if you remember this, we watched this hash war live as it happened, as these coins split apart. And what we were left with, we were left with two coins, Bitcoin Cash technically won. They got the Bitcoin Cash ticker. Bitcoin SV got their own ticker. But what's the point? 
Why does this take our number eight spot? Well, I mean, essentially Bitcoin Cash hard fork, it, it tore the community apart. And something we learned from this is that Bitcoin in cryptocurrency has pockets of centralization in the mining pool for Bitcoin, which is just something to note in this new emerging decentralized world. Bitcoin Cash takes the number eight spot. What's the number one? We will find out. Just got to keep teasing that number one, guys. Few of you will stick with me towards the end. If you do, let me know at the end. But the number seven spot of the biggest events that happened this year is this year, and this is a huge green flag. It was the year of tech, infrastructure, and mainnet launches. 2018 gave the community a real opportunity to hashtag buildle and allow these projects uh, that before, just in 2017, were all hype in their ICO phase, uh, allowed all these projects to complete the tech that they had promised since 2018. What was some of that tech? First off, mainnets. If you go on coinmarketcalendar.com and look at past events, this was the year of mainnets. Tron, EOS, Tezos, VeChain, Ontology, Knowles, to name a few, all these projects launched their mainnets, leaving the Ethereum blockchain and creating their own. Uh, in 2018, Ripple's XRapid went live and started onboarding clients. This is a big step. Whether you like XRP or not, this is a big step, step for crypto. And finally, of course, in 2018, infrastructure was built around the Bitcoin and around Bitcoin and Ethereum, allowing us to see actual value behind this emerging market. Cryptocurrency is young, team, and we are here and we are here early and and we have a ways to go with infrastructure and tech. But trust me, 2018 was a great start. I think. These are just my opinions. I'm not a financial advisor. But all in all, tech, mainnet's infrastructure takes our number seven spot. Number six, and it goes right along with this, is the Lightning Network. 2018 was the year of the Lightning. The Lightning Network offers just a little, if you don't know what the Lightning Network is, the Lightning Network, it's our number six spot, it offers a real solution for Bitcoin's scaling issue. How? by creating a second layer on top of the Bitcoin network to allow faster, cheaper transactions. And in 2018, we saw it. Now, this is how far we progressed in the last year. But as of last night, where does the Lightning Network stand? Well, right now we have about 4,000, we have over 4,900 nodes with over 2,000 active channels. And right now, we have a little over 500, where is it? 500 Bitcoin capacity. What does this mean? Well, essentially, we still have a very long ways to go because this isn't a lot right now. We have a long ways to go before I can buy that cup of coffee with my Bitcoin. But the point is the Lightning Network made huge strides in 2018 and it's setting themselves up to make huge strides in 2019 as well. All right, team, we are halfway through with the Lightning Network taking up number six. We are halfway through of cryptocurrency's top 10 events for 2018. What do you think will be in the top five, the top one? Let me know, but make sure if you're getting any value from today, be sure to like the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. Liking the video just really helps the channel grow. So I appreciate it if you could, but let's keep going. The number five thing that makes up the defining moments of 2018 is the Coinbase pump. This year, Coinbase, one of the world's most popular and exclusive exchanges, opens it opened its doors to Ethereum Classic, 0x, basic attention token, Zcash, and major moves were made with Coinbase. And now, just a few short weeks ago, Coinbase, as we know, announced that they'll be adding uh, over 30 more coins which is an outrageous move for them, but it just shows very a lot of progress uh, happened on the Coinbase front for 2018. And it shows that Bitcoin and select altcoins that actually have value behind them might have even a bigger day uh, to happen in the future. It means these altcoins, while they didn't get, while, are you still with me? Well, not a lot of these altcoins uh, got the pump in the end. 
I still think this shows that uh, it's gearing up for a positive 2019. That's the number five spot, number four. And we're gonna go quicker on these. Number four, senior staffers at the SEC say Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities. Huge news, huge news at the time when it happened six months ago in June of 2018. And while the SEC continues to say that most ICOs are securities, this was a big green flag for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Just to put this in perspective, no other year besides 2018 has this happened. And in 2018, this was a clear sign that the sentiment by regulators around crypto was changing. As they look forward to the future of cryptocurrency, they're seeing a value behind certain assets. Huge news, and it takes up our number four spot in the countdown. Guys, what's better? A VH1 uh, top songs of the 90s or this? Let me know. But the top three spots, the third spot in the list are institutions entering crypto. Obviously, huge. And the, uh, speaking of things that we have not seen in other years before this was NASDAQ launching Bitcoin futures, Fidelity opening a digital assets department, and Backed partnering with Microsoft, Starbucks, breaking down barriers for retailers, and these institutions entering the space. It's interesting. While the mainstream media is shouting that Bitcoin is dead, institutions continue to quietly slip in. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. If, if Fidelity, NASDAQ, Starbucks, if these people are quietly slipping into crypto, to me, that says Bitcoin is here to stay. Let's keep going. Here we go. The two biggest events happening that has happened in 2018. Number two, the second biggest event that we saw happen in 2018 is altcoin daily being created. Hear me out. Hear me out. Earlier this year, very beginning of this year, the channel started and it was just my brother and me. And now we grew all of us to an incredible community of over 53,000 believers. Believers in the space that want to learn more information. I just want to take the second spot to say, I appreciate you. And I envision this channel, Altcoin Daily, as just a safe place that we can come to just get some basic understanding and transparency in this, in this complex market. That's why you subscribe to the channel. That's why I post videos. And to offer more perspective, 2018 was not just the year of Altcoin Daily. I'll be honest with you, there are a few, there are a few quality crypto channels out there that offer valuable content, in my opinion. A lot of crappy channels, but I think there are a few quality ones, and let me know who you like. So there might be just some new people watching this video today, maybe trying to get into the space and maybe, maybe looking for more information. So. If you have a favorite cryptocurrency content creator, whoever it is, comment below. Let the community know who you like. Maybe it's Jeff at Altcoin Buzz. Maybe it's Cryptos R Us or Modern Investor. Let us know, comment below, and give everybody just an opportunity to learn. That's the number two spot, you and me. And let's keep going. The number one thing to come out of crypto in 2018 was 2019. 2019 takes our number one spot and as this year comes to an end we've had some major we have some major things to look forward to in 2019 things that i think will make this next year really important for cryptocurrency we have ethereum constantinople upgrade we have more adoption on that bitcoin night lightning network we have the van x cboe bitcoin etf we have backed hopefully it will launch in q1 of this year I'm ready. I'm excited. And I'm excited to take this journey with you. All right, team. That's the video today. Appreciate you tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Really, really all that stuff really does help me grow as a channel. And cheers to a great 2019.